Hey, hey, boys and girls, it's me, Draiku, coming at you from the large, spacious, palatial bedroom of Draiku. That's right, we're in my bedroom right now. What do you think? Do you like the authentic grass floors? The authentic white torture device I call a bed? That's right, I have to sleep in my armor to keep it from hurting me so badly. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so... Oop, not that button. Uh, what's the button I'm looking for? There we go. All right, so today I don't have a lot on the agenda. Do want to apologize for only getting two episodes to you in week one. Life got kind of busy, but for my new retail location I'm at, with the new job and all, managed to pull out a good victory out of uh, 13 franchise stores in my company. My store is the number one store. That's right, boys and girls. You're talking to a very successful salesman. Coconuts. Let's, let's let's get some coconuts real quick. Okay, so figured out the laser thing. So what I've got going on here now is I put some Buildcraft tanks. Let's go on down and take a look at these. Down here, got a blue laser right there. Now the Buildcraft tanks dump, or let's see, this fermenting barrel dumps directly down into the Buildcraft tanks. And there's one, two of them here. I think they hold 16 buckets a piece, so I've got a lot of stuff going on there. Then the laser down here takes the oil whoops, and pipes it up to here to the oil generator. Remember, this was a coal generator before. So this thing is completely full of crystal flux, 50,000 CF, and it's completely full of oil. Uh, canola press is empty. Fermenting barrel is doing its thing. And if you'll notice back up here and take another look our canola farm is pretty much full now so yeah we got some good stuff going on that's all completely automated so we have power so the next step for today i believe is that we are going to throw these in here there we go put, put some more coal in there there we go i want to i want to start doubling up stuff in a more automated way so instead of me having to go over here and throw stuff in, then crush it up and come over here and throw it in here, we're going to make a double crusher so we can crush stuff twice as fast and then a powered furnace so that it all runs off that crystal flux. That may mean we end up making a second oil generator as well. But for now, wow, I got a lot out of there. Whoops. That got a lot out of there. But for now, let's just see about doing this thing. So, I'll show you a little trick here with NEIJEI. -E you can put in what you're looking for. So, I put and act. So, it looks for stuff from actual editions. Then a crusher. So, it gets me anything that starts with crushed or with crusher. So, if I go right here and I type in ER. Whoop. Let's see if it'll do it correctly. R. There we go. And it eliminates all the crushed stuff. Then you put a pipe. And do it again, and it creates a new search to tack on to the end of the first search. So that way we'll get our powered furnace. Now in 1.10, that was called the double furnace, but now that's called the powered furnace. So this guy right here just does stuff for you. Ooh, I don't know what would do that. That's nifty. But to make it, we need two of these advanced coils, an iron casing, two crushers, and some cobble. Not too difficult. So to make a crusher, we need cobble, flint, rustonia. So let's see, one, two, three, four, eight, ten rustonias. Let's start with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Poof. Throw these down there. Hit that button. Have them jump back to me. Perfect. So I know I've got flint somewhere. Just got to find it. There it is. Okay, so to make this, we need this. Oop, I need to pick those up. There we go. Getting a little bit of lag this morning for some reason. There's two of those. Perfect. Now we're going to go... What am I missing? I'm missing this, which is four sticks, four pieces of iron, and one of those. Okay. Do I have any sticks? 
No, that's easy enough. Do I have any iron made up? Ooh, iron casings. Even better. So it's going to make us some sticks. Oh, not that one I need. Oh, wait, I've already got those. I don't even need that, do I? Let's get a bunch of cobble. All right, there's a crusher. Let's go over here and pick up this crusher because it is now empty. I think we're going to lose the crystal flux, but we'll see. Or may not, may not. Okay. <clears throat> so now we need to make the gold ones, which is just two pieces of gold. Perfect. One, two. Do this. Uh, I'll need some more of those. So that's going to be more Restonias. Just get a bunch of them. Okay, let's just let's go and convert twenty of these over. Poof. Okay. So now we're going to make one. Give me another. Four, two, then I want this, then I want this. Perfect. Then I want that. Ha <laughs> ha! Double crusher achieved. Double doubling up. Oh yeah. Just like this down here. Yeah, we lost that, but that's okay. Now this has two modes. It can auto split items on or off. That means whatever I put in here when this is green, whatever I put in here. Will automatically go to both sides. Pretty nifty, right? So watch this. I'll take some of this lovely iron ore. Man, look how fast that fills up. Throw it in here, and poof, so it automatically threw it on both sides. So that means it's going to double it up more quickly. It doesn't literally double double, which would be four times. It just does it more quickly. So now we got that going on. And sweet, still making enough power. Ooh, we did drain this out a little bit, though. So we'll definitely need to get a second oil generator going to make all this happen. All right, so double crusher done. Now, powered furnace. So how do we make this guy? We need two anoris, two more of these guys, two furnaces, and some more cobblestone. So that's one, two cobblestone. I'm sorry, eight, 16, 17, 18 cobblestone. Easy enough. Already got this. So we go one, two. One, two. Poof. We got those. Let's see. We had five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ha ha. Those down there. And I'm missing those. So I need two pieces of iron. Which is down here. Let me take these up here. We'll throw them down there. Poof! We got our iron stars, otherwise known as Inori crystals. So hit that button. Poof! Power furnace. Look at that. We're moving up in the world. Now, how can I get power? Just going to put it down here. Now, this gets power. We'll do an auto split on this, too. Then we'll take things from there and throw them in there. So, do I have any more lasers? I think I need to make some more lasers. Holler out really loud if you see more lasers. There's fluid ones. Unfortunately, you can't go backwards, though. Like, I can't change. This is full of oil. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get some more. So mo better oil power. But you can't change the laser backwards. Like once you convert an item laser to a fluid laser, you can't go back to an item laser as far as I know. So let's go at actually lasers. We can use the advanced ones in probably in the next episode when we set up automated storage. Because we're definitely have to do that. I'm starting my chest here getting out of control. 
Um, advanced ones allow you to use filters, so only certain things go into them. So we'll take a look at that in probably the next episode. Okay, so I need four obsidian, eight sixteen, eighteen redstone. Okay. Is that right? Two of those. Okay, I need two more of these. We're about to have to go take a nap. Just so we don't get creepered. Right, the moon's coming up, so let's go take a nap really quick. Oops, shut the door. Shut your mouth, right? Okay. This episode's looking pretty good so far. Now, in between the last episode and this one, I did get on for a little while and do some exploring. So I found my first village. And it had one of those actual editions houses in it, but I discovered something. And if I'd have read the book, I would have known this. You actually can't pick up the machines from the actual editions house. When you try to, they break. So the stuff I thought was kind of cheaty is actually not that cheaty. You'd have to live next to the house. But I went all the way over to here, just walk around. There's a village there. You see, I've got it marked on the map. There's also a, what's it called, roguelike dungeons, I think. A sand temple right here. And I went in there for a little bit, but I didn't have any good weapons and armor. So I didn't go too far in. I did get the sword out of it. It's a tempered blade. This says sharpness one, unbreaking three, and mending. So this will be a sword we use for a while. Uh, one of these, okay. That'll be a sword we use for quite a while. Got that. Need more little nuggets. I swear I should have enough of these by now. Still no, okay. Break another one. I've made a lot of lasers. That's why this surprises me. I don't have enough. Okay. Put you down. Get some of this out. Perfect. I'm just going to figure out where I put the obsidian. There we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Oops. Man, I can't count this morning. It's early Sunday morning, by the way. So I'm like just not drinking my first cup of coffee and all. There we go. So now we want to have this go to here. Then I can connect then I have to connect those two with my wrench. Oh yeah. Uh some of this came out. Like I got a shield, which is kinda neat looking. I got that from uh time in the roguelike dungeon. Got some more diamonds. Because I did some more mining too. There it is, that's what I'm looking for. So I have to connect this to this. Poof. All right, dude, come on. Oh, crud. Duh, Jaraku. I need the green ones. I knew this. All right, so here we go. The green ones are the inventory ones. So I could have used the blue ones I had. Oh, well. Now we know. Knowing us half the battle. That was a good cartoon from back when I was a kid. Okay, now. You go to here. And let's see. Okay, that is priority. Why do you not pull, though? You pulled from there. Oh, I need one of these hopper deals. Okay. That's right. The last episode, I didn't really show you because I couldn't figure out how to get stuff to go from one to the other. So here's what I figured out in between episodes. You take an item laser and stick it on the thing you want to pull from, and it just knows how to grab it. Then you take one of these hopping item interfaces, and you stick it on the item you want it to go into. See how the canola just came through? So that's why this is not working. 
I'm going to have to make this a little more complicated. So let's go on and make one of those really quick and see how that's done. Uh, actually, hopping. So we need a hopper and one of these. So this is going to be, wow, 4, 8, 16, 17, 18 more Restonias. This is getting kind of expensive, guys. But it's going to be worth it. Because then I'll be able to just pull from it and it'll be good to go. That's right. Perfect. Four of those are needed. I need two more of those, I believe it said. Two, then I need a chest. Okay. And I have a lot of wood. I did grab some stuff. Like I got a storage crate and some wood casings in case I need those for later. I did get those out of the actual addition's house because it's, I've shown, shown you how to make them. There's no point in me having to make more of them. In fact, I think I'm gonna need one for this. Oh no, I'm not, okay. So I did grab a couple things. Oh, there's more canola seeds. Let's throw those in here too so we can stay caught up. There we go, we go here. I may have to make a second canola farm too. Since I've already shown you how to do it, I'll do that off camera though. I'm looking for this. One, two. I'm do this. I'm do this. This, 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 and this. And I need this right here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. So we're going to make, I don't know why I'm clicking through on that to make a hopper. Here we go. Okay, and a hopper is just a funnel with a chest in the middle. And we put this up here, this up here, and bam, we got a hopping item, item interface. Then i got to figure out how to get stuff back out of that again. So I'll probably stick another item laser under it and have it piped to an input chest over here, which will automatically pipe to all that stuff. So there may be a storage building out here in the next episode. This is going to go right there. Uh -oh. Let me think. Let's do this. Because that's going to need to go. <laughs> now it's getting a little bit complicated. I got too much stuff. You go here, you go here, and we'll go one of you, one of you. So we'll do this now. Okay, cool, we can't do that. Yeah, and it's still full. Put you right there. You go, there we go, right there. All right, why is it not working this time? Anything in there? Yeah. Maybe it has to come out the bottom of it. This is really starting to get complicated here. Find out if you have to go over here then. You never know. It could be just quirky like that. Oh, can't hop up there. Okay. There it goes. Automatically sort that like that. So yay. Now that's working. Okay, now let's throw some dirt back under here. Kind of cover things up. And I'll figure out this lag later on. All right, so we got fully automated. Whatchamacallit? Or processing. 
Not too shabby. I just want to throw these in here. I guess we throw the gold in there too, since it's doing gold for me. This time we will not have it auto sort though. Perfect. I wonder if you use that powered furnace for anything. Uh, actually, the powered. There we go. Can it be used in a recipe? No, it just smelt stuff. Okay, that's good to know. But at least we got that going for us. So what do you think? Pretty nifty, huh? So we are only a couple hours into the series, and we already have fully automated. Well, three quarters of fully automated. I'm going to make a make a bin. Not a bin. A uh, what do you call it? A storage shed. And then we're going to have fully automated storage. So I'll make a bunch of different chests, or even. I think we're going to use. Where did I put it? These guys here, the storage crates. Let me show them to you before we get. Let's go sleep and then I'll show them to you. And then if you want, we can see if we can get it to a little mischief here. I don't have a current idea, but I'm sure there's something we can do. Okay, this is a small storage crate. But you see how much it stores? And that's a small one. Actually, Editions actually has all the way up to the large storage crate. Storage crates are really, really big. Hold tons of items, more than four chests. So to make this one, storage crate creeper, keeper. Ooh. So this allows you to move a storage crate. This is empowered void crystal blocks. Okay, so, and this is how you upgrade these. So you take a regular one, put some planks around it, and that makes a chest to storage crate update. So I can turn these chests into crates. Pretty simple. Then, how do you make the medium one, though? Small, okay. So void crystal. The void crystal block is nothing more than a block of coal. Yeah, we can do some stuff with that, too. How's our power doing over here? Man, we are drinking that power. Let's do this and this. But we got iron for days now. This is a good thing. Look at that. Two stacks of iron already. Not too shabby, if I do say so. Put these up in here. Okay. Actually, we may call it an episode there because I want to. I want to start doing this automated storage thing, so I got to do a little bit of research to see if that's changed since 1.10 up to 1.11. And my coffee cup's getting close to empty. And we all know Jiraiku in the morning without coffee, not a good mixture. But now you've seen how to get farming done, what a storage crate looks like. How to get an auto farm made in virtually no time at all. I mean, this is the very beginning of the game. We don't have anything. So next we're going to work on storage. So I'm going to build a little storage house out here. So the world's going to change a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to automate storage in the next episode. So that way things start becoming a little more, a little easier for us. Um, so yeah. Today's episode's going to be kind of short. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to come back because we're going to post. I'm going to see how many episodes I can record today so we can get at least three episodes up this week. Uh, leave me any questions in the comments, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.